My name is Juke Robbins. I'm a senior scientist with the Center for Coastal Studies here in Provincetown, Massachusetts. I direct the humpback whale research program here, uh, which is a long-term study of humpback whales, a multi-decade study primarily in the Gulf of Maine here, but also in other parts of the world, for example, in American Samoa in the past in Hawaii and other areas. Basically, we're identifying whales based on the, the ventral fluke patterns. Thus far, we don't recognize it as a whale that we've cataloged before, nor as a whale that we've biopsy sampled before. And that's why uh, it's important for us to get a sample today. This could be a yearling that was born last year, and we just simply didn't see the whale with its mother. Um, so we're seeing it for the first time, and most likely it's, it's in the one to two year range. This is the sample, or the dart as we pull it out of the water. And as you can see, there's what you're, what's sticking out here is just a little bit of blubber. Uh, and all that we have to do is unscrew this. Oh, there it is. And we're, there's so many bacteria there that even if we take a few off, there'll be plenty for analysis. Okay. At this point, we don't have reliable health assessment techniques for humpback whales. What we really need are more systematic and more quantitative methods, and my hope is that the work that Amy's doing ultimately down the line will uh, provide some of those indicators for humpback whales. Got it. <laughs> got it? Got it. Got it.